Alrighty, today we're finally gonna make the gear set up. I got my bow tune, um, but what I did is I actually got some more VAP TKOs. I shoot Victory Archery, I shoot the Elites, uh, 350 spine. So we're gonna go in there, I had them cut my arrows. Uh, I'm making the switch from 100 grain to 125 grain. So when I go in there, we're gonna talk to one of the people at the archery shop and hopefully weigh my arrows. I wanna see what kind of grain that I'm shooting. My goal is to get around 500 because just a magnum arrow like that, it gets a lot of kinetic energy, a lot of penetration. So I'm gonna try and switch that up this year. So if I do get a harder shot, we got no issue getting penetration. So we're gonna go in, get some stuff checked out, and we're gonna show you how I'm shooting and what I'm shooting. Of course, city mandate, I gotta wear a stupid mask inside. So if I don't pass out while I'm shooting bow here, I guess we'll see what's going on. So I had my arrows cut last week. Okay. Uh, my back TKOs are actually those ones right there, I think, with the white flash. Okay. Yep. We need to get those cut for you. I just want to make sure that you want to match them or not. Okay, yeah. So, so we're going to match them, and then we go through the process, yeah, and I want to weigh them total range, range. Okay. Yeah, that's that's scale. <laughs> yep. um, and then shoot through the graph, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. shoot through the chronos. Yep, yeah. we got that all set up. So let's do that. Let's get the full setup here and make sure I know what I'm shooting with. What we got. get cut. I'm going to shoot it through a chronograph. I want to see my speed. Uh, once I get that, I'm going to weigh it so I can kind of see, you know, with this speed and this weight, I can do the math, figure out my kinetic energy. So if I do hit it here, which I will, uh, I get to see how much kinetic energy I have going through it. Basically the only difference between them is I have, you have an insert outsert, so what that yep. means basically is Take this and yep, so you glue it inside and then it also screws it on the outside. Yeah, so inside out, insert outsert means basically okay. screwing in and out. And then a glue in or an insert is one that goes in the safe. Okay. God, these are light arrows. Yeah, the hunter's light. But if you had a 100 grain tip in the front, you're going to be there and weight anyways. Which, yeah, the broadheads are 125. Mm-hmm. How's the timing? They make them 75 and 95, so okay, I then you, can make, I you can make them real stupid heavy. I'm not good to go get them. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I'm all done after this. No, you're good. This is six grains, yeah. so you're adding a lot more to the arrow. No, so. 
Yeah, other than that. Yeah, when she says 125 was evil X, I think it's really good about it. I'd say you're probably shooting from out of 400 right now. Okay, that's fine. And as far as draw weight, let's, go, let's just bottom this thing out. You wanna bottom it out? Just bottom it out. Let's go for it. Trying a four fletch this year. Never done it, I've always shot three, four. I mean, these arrows fly like darts. They're gonna tune great. Um, as far as the spiral in the air, it's gonna be just sick nasty. I'm assuming it's at like 67 and a half. 68.4. 68.4 and that's bottom out or that's the first time? The bottom out. Okay. Okay, that's good. Short guys have issues with that stuff. Find a 30 inch draw like him, it'd be a lot easier. Yeah, 30 inch draw shooting. like he'd be pushing. I'd be 300 out. something and yeah, I'd be doing real well. Yeah. You know, that's why I, I normally, like, I fit a 27 and a half is what I measure mm -hmm. on that. But I, I, that extra half inch is just, I'm comfortable with it. And for me, I'd just rather just have that, so. Yeah. That's pretty standard across the industry is 28, 20. You got a good flat shooting mo, so. No, I. You got a good arrow for it. I think it's good, so. Looks good. We're gonna get a new cable ordered in. Um, see that in about three weeks to a month, I mean, during season. But uh, definitely mid-season or after I tag out early, we'll uh, make the switch over. So we're gonna go check out. Evan here was great. We're at Powderhorn Gun Shop and Archery Shop in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, if you do have any archery needs or you want somebody to work on your bow, these guys here have great advice. They're awesome. Uh, their equipment is top notch. Really good crowd. Appreciate it. Yep, hey, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Evan. You've been a great help. Hey, thank you guys. I appreciate it. The plan for the next video, stay tuned. Uh, subscribe to what we got going on down here. We're gonna show you the Day6 Evo X broadheads. We're gonna show you what they look like, uh, how they fly. Um, got the bow set up, we're good to go. I got my cables ordered. The ones I have right now will make it through the season. But that's another tip. Uh, always listen to your local archery shop. The guys there know what they're doing. Uh, if they tell you that you need to get new stuff, just definitely look at it and listen to them because you do not wanna have a mistake like that in the woods. If you pull back on your big buck and something snaps, something breaks, you're not only gonna wanna wish that you were no longer in the tree stand, you're just overall not gonna have a good time. So we're gonna go, we're gonna shoot, we're gonna show you different techniques and what we're gonna practice shooting from elevation wise, shooting on the ground and certain yardages that we're gonna practice at. So stay tuned, hit the subscribe button right here. We'll see you next time.